putting in some shopping, some restaurants. Vito says you're reliable. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Runs a tight ship. You should be able to get some of his guys talking. Love that park in the hollow when I was a boy. Always rode the Ferris wheel. Fucked it up for all of us. All of us? They sent a guy over to the house, says I ain't quitting shit. You want a permit? You need to wait. You ain't organizing against us, cocksucker. Somebody sneaking around? Can I get a resupply in River Road? Going at you. Hang tight. Let me see what you got. Done deal. I'm out of here.
something for me today. No permit, damn. no you job. You see that? So wait for your damn turn. Is it a job as you've done slowing work at the dock union? I'm surprised. Word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer. And if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. Print up some more. Kill me, or that piss ain't Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here. The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it.
I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Klimbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whoas in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. If he tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. God, suck. Come on, back to the car, you drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. Almost went through the windshield. Is, is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? Don't you lose sight? He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. You fuckers missed me! No way, you fucks! Greco's mine! Come on, here! Take your woman like a man! Hey, don't, don't shoot my car, Vito! Fuck! I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away! Ugh. Lincoln! I'm not gonna fucking die in this hunger shit car with you! Damn it! 
That motherfucker's got my car! Out of here, the cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Available unit. Suspicious individual in vehicle. You're gonna have to shake these corn potent redneck motherfuckers. Well, what happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! to the suspect being sighted in the bayou. Let me go! All units, suspect sighted in River Row. She broke a needle and she can't so walk in the dark. Gonna know you'd be involved in this feed off, you hot sucker! All units. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew. Shit. <laughs> For a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Funny. I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that... <laughs> oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing! Didn't do nothing? You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I know. I know. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet baby. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's. You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. You should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? 
Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me any goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking owed! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sounds boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay's still alive. Fuck 